Men should be free. Never let anyone trap you. You know, that's what Mr. Lincoln used to say. Well, I am free, and I'm going to stay that way, what the hell. Right. The only law I know is my law. Eat to live and live to eat. Isn't that right, Pocky? <laughs> and if I have to steal to eat, I steal. At least when I steal, I do it with a sense of justice. If there's one good thing they can say about Jet Rigado, it is that he's a just man. I never steal from anybody who isn't rich. Besides, why can't you steal from a poor man? It is not that I want to be rich, you understand? Because I think all the rich are disgusting anyway. I only stole you because I want to trade you for something. There's something I need for some good friend of mine. I guess you must think I'm crazy to give away what I steal. You're right, I'm crazy. If I wasn't crazy, I sure wouldn't be talking to a pig. Is coming. Yeah. Why don't you stop worrying? If he shows like you said he would, the son of a bitch is mine. And the reward money is all yours. But why a lie? We get the reward either way. Quick bullet in the back. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be simpler. Mm. No. Alive. Mm. There was one guy who tried to turn Jed in. They found him hanging from a tree. Uncle Jeremy, I'm gonna bury him. Why don't you get a grave digger? He was the grave digger. Go ahead. I brought you the baby's house. Where's the cow? <laughs> well, she's not under my hat. She's in the shed. <laughs> You'll want to look at her, I guess. I will for you to bring her here. Whatever you say, Jed. Oh, I was just fixing myself some chestnuts. You hungry? Why don't you come down? <sighs> come on, I'm in a hurry. Here, take your pigs. Let's get this over with. I have to make sure they're female. Listen, take them home and play with them later. I told you I'm in a hurry. Here. <laughs> You wait until he dismounts. You can't be too careful these days. You're a businessman, Jed. You know how it is. 
I'm surprised you don't want to go into the shed to take a look at the cow. Not that I cheat you or anything. <laughs> Paparacito. Hmm? Expensive cigar. What cigar? It's just a cigar, that's all. You wouldn't hmm. cross me, would you, Aparacito? You know what I do to people who do? <laughs> there is only one son of a bitch in this part who smokes these cigars, and that's Francisco's the ball! Come on, let's go! looking cap? Yeah. Which way did he go? Went that away, riding like crazy. Let's go. Come on. I know who you are, Jed Trigardo. Who am I? You're an outlaw. If it weren't for me, that marshal would have gotten you. So come on, pay up. Uh, I want that money. Uh, what's this not like you're gonna do with my money? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get myself a gun and I'm gonna be just like you. <laughs> Jed Trigardo uh, takes uh, money. He doesn't give it away. Remember that when you grow My up, Snot Nose. Snot Nose, it's Sonny, you son yeah. of a bitch. Come back. Mm. 
everything. I'm not a goddamn female. What are you, chipmunk? Listen to me. Hey. Wait. Please, I want to come with you. You don't come with anybody, especially me. Please, at least let me try, huh? <laughs> so you want to try, huh? Engines. Who is it? It looks like a kid. Let's, let's do something. He might still be alive. Of course I'm alive. None of you with me if you move. You! Get down here! Yeah. That's nice. Gone. We gotta teach these folks how to share the wealth with poor people. Yeah, come on. Give yeah. me money. That's it. Come on. Come on, hurry up. Come on. Come on. Stick it here. All of it. Right. Okay, call them. We don't want any witnesses, right? Right. Well, kid, let's get it over with and shoot. No! No! Shut up! And die with dignity. Shoot! What? Wait a minute. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Huh? I see. I see. Get off with that. Get off. You want to be a bandit, huh? And you don't have any guts. Of course you can't have guts. You were castrated at birth. Don't move anybody. Goodbye, snot nose. Yeah. Don't move. I said don't move anybody. Be a good horse. Don't move. Grab the girl! Don't move, anybody, goddammit! Don't move! I don't need a horse. I can walk! I don't give a shit! And you should have seen her. Kicking like a pack mule and swearing at me worse than a man. She set herself against the law. She's got to be punished for it. You think they'll hang her, Luke? I mean, she is a woman. Man or woman don't make no difference. That's what you say. Ah, I'm sorry. It's true. It doesn't make any difference for you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? You know the grave digger's granddaughter, the little blonde, the one that goes around dressed like a boy? Well, they caught her robbing the stagecoach with some guy. And Franciscus has got her. Franciscus. <laughs> That's tough. All right. Now, you get this through your head, little girl. You're going to tell me where Jed is. And if you don't, well, I'm going to cut your tongue out. Now, that's clear enough, isn't it? Go on. Do it. I ain't gonna tell you. And you ain't gonna make me. You don't understand. I'm talking to you like a father. Ah! 
You're a naughty girl. And for that, you're going to be spanked. Get a paracetamol. You want this one, too? Mm. I'll take that one. You couldn't afford it. Whoever thought of spaghetti was a genius. He must have made a damn fortune. Twenty dollars, honey. Otherwise, I'm not selling. Put it on my Bobby. bill. For the nerve. This one's pretty, Jed. But I'm broke. How about some credit? <laughs> I don't remember you ever giving credit to me. Listen, you punk. Get this in your dirty head. If you don't lower your crazy prices on this junk, I'm going to go and have a little chat with the sheriff, huh? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well, come on, senoritas. Come on, ladies. Even if there are no clients, that's still no reason for everyone to lay around here like a bunch of real whores. Real whores. You've gone up in price, Jed. There's $500 on your head. How do you know? The whole town is talking about it. And there's a character around with a scar here. His name is Franciscus. And he desperately wants your ass. So desperately. God knows why, huh, Jed? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's queer. <laughs> well, you can always make a deal with him and set him on the right track. Yeah, he'll get tired one of uh. these days. But then, if it's not this one, there's going to be another. And then another. Huh? What do I have? Diamond in my ass? Huh? <laughs> Jed, why don't you stop with this kind of life, huh? Yeah, we can open up a uh. shooting gallery. We'll paint a bullseye on your ass and give prizes to whoever hits it. Fuck you, bastard. Get out of here. I don't want to see you anymore. Get it? Come here. Fuck Green. you. Damn it, fuck you, baby. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, bastard, I was bastard, kidding. bastard, bastard. I was kidding. Bastard. You're the only, the only decent person I know. Hey, did you ever think about getting some new blood in this place? Mm. You could charge more money and buy more of the stuff I bring you. And why don't you try to bring me something new for a change, something fresh, huh? Listen, why don't you go and ask your friend, Franciscus, Franciscus, maybe he can give you back that skinny bag of bones. He's sending her to Yuma tomorrow. Fifteen years in jail. What a waste. A skinny bag of bones, but still fresh. Mm. Come on. Move. I ought to make you walk anyway. That's what I ought to do. Got that mess if it wasn't for you. I always get stuck with the dirty jobs. And what do I get out of them? Huh? Nothing, not a damn thing. That's what I get. The lousy Franciscus. I take all the risks and he gets the rewards. Uh, I see how those stinking peace officers work. They don't fool no one. I want you to take her to Yuma, he tells me. I want her in federal prison. Sure. Why the hell do he care if Jed ambushes me out here and leaves me for the buzzards? He won't lose no sleep for me. He wants me out here as bait. Well, I'm not gonna sit in a trap for nobody. If we make it to the ferry, I'm gonna dump you in the water and head for Yuma. Starting right now, the only guy I'm looking out for is me. Mother, help your little boy. I'm sorry I murdered you. You shouldn't have let her go with a parcito. No? Why? Marshal, Jed's gonna free her and to kill a parcito. A parcito doesn't have a chance against him. You really think so? Oh, <laughs> I see. If Jed tries, we, uh... You think too much. Remember, it gives you headaches. Just let's keep him in sight at all times. Come on. Come on. 
From here on, you're going to stay real close. Not reach from you, Jeb. One move out of you, and I'm going to kill Sonny. I know the way you think, Jed, and I know you don't give a damn about her. But if you plug me, you know what you get? Francisco's. And don't you forget it, either. Ah. Do you hear what I'm telling you, Jed? Oh. Don't get any ideas. I didn't come for you. I came because I had an account to settle with this son of a bitch. Uh, 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 now shut up. Come on. Put the next bullet between your eyes. But you're not gonna die that easy, punk. Bon voyage, Tragado. What? What can I do without my boat? Oh! You want to be an outlaw, huh? You can't shoot. You cannot screw. You can't run. I'll bet you can't even spit. That's one way you can always tell the difference between a man and a woman. A man can spit, and a woman can't. Look. Try it. Uh, go ahead, try it. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, so I can't spit. Then shut up. Heck, well, at least I know how to use a rifle. What the hell are you doing? Put that down. Put it down right here. Who 
tell you to move anyway. You move when I tell you to move, understand? You do what I tell you when I tell you to do it, understand? Only when I tell you, got it? Hmm. Uh. And, uh, let's get a few things straight around here. If you want to stay with me, that is, if I decide I'm going to keep you with me, you've got to walk three steps in back of me. Like a dog. Just like a dog. That's what you are, a dog, and I am the master, understand? No! What? No! Shut up! Are you like me to bash your head, Toya, you little crab? Huh? You know what I tell you, I spread your skull. I'll leave you for the buses. milk in her. You got it? And who said you could talk anyway? Shut up and walk. Wait, stop. Stop. Why? Ah, thirsty. Hold her. a hell of a lot more than used not knows. <laughs> hey, don't worry, muchachos. It's plenty for everybody. I'll be through in a minute. Let me try it. Come at it. Let me try it first. Please, Zomilo. All right. Who wants to try it first? Zomilo, look. Look. Look who's coming. Yeah, it's Jerry. Yeah. Jerry. Yeah. Jerry. Yeah. 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 Go tell the others, Jed is here. Jed! Hey, look what he's bringing to us. I see. Grazie. Grazie, Jed. <laughs> this okay, Chico. She's a damn fine cow. She ought to have enough in her to feed everybody. All the kids and old people, anyhow. And if you're careful, the whole village, maybe. How can I begin to thank you for our poor village? We have no way to repay you for all the goodness you bring us. Ah. But what we have is yours, like a brother. And whatever our poor village has is yours to share, brother. A couple of more minutes of this story and everybody's going to be crying. Jim? Yeah? I patched your coat. Gracias. Are your little girl's beginning to grow up, huh? Grown, she's married. Three weeks ago, Sunday. You say she's married? What are you doing here? Go to her room and do what you have to do. Well, you're young. When a man and a woman get married, you know what they do? You learning anything, Blue Eyes? Then one day, Don Garcia Moreno's men came and took away our sheep. Why didn't you fight? Oh, we know nothing of fighting, Jed. We only wish to live in peace. But you know, if you stay with us, lived here, nobody would dare to touch us. <laughs> We'd build your house. Too late. Porque? 
Just this. That's all. Because I'm used to living like an animal. It's the way I want to live. No responsibilities. I make up all my own rules. Wouldn't be able to do that if I stopped here. I can't stop moving. Life's too short. <laughs> you can't live like that all your life, Jed. Why not? Because you got a woman now. Mm. Are you called that a woman? Come on, Somelo. She's not even good to make love. Look. Now, let's see, let's see if you're a good puppy and get this in the air, huh? Oi. Uh, oh. God damn it, can't you do nothing right? Huh? Uh, some woman I got, huh, Tomilo? should look uh, just like that all nice and swollen with milk yeah enough milk to damn near feed the world then everybody could start thinking about other things instead of how we're going to get anything to eat no one would have to go to bed hungry <laughs> yeah Nice shot, huh? <laughs> what do you mean, ah? If you want to be a killer, you better get a real gun. And walk like a man, not like a chicken. Elegance. First thing you got to do is learn to look tough. Tough as nails. Look a man right in the eye and don't ever turn your back on nobody. Because the minute you do, you're in a lot of trouble. Ah! <laughs> Take it. And don't aim. You don't have time to aim. It is automatic. It is like sticking your finger up your nose in the dark. You just do it and that's it. Yeah, now, let's see. Come on. Shoot. Move a little bit to your, to your left. That's it. Okay. You move. What do you mean I move? Just aim at it. Come on, shoot! I can't if you're standing there. I can't if you're standing there. What the hell you want? You want to be a man? Huh? Get out of here. Go find yourself a doll to play with. You're a thief! No, I swear on the Virgin of Guadalupe, we didn't take her. We're poor people, but we're honest. You're dead to life! Reason all of you. This cow belongs to Don Garcia Moreno. And she was stolen from him. Are you so stupid you don't know what happens to men who steal from Don Garcia? No. I want that man to step forward. If he does not, then every woman in this village will become a widow. Do you hear me, Somiro? Pedro, look at this. I found this berry. Who the hell gave them this? The same guy that gave them the cow. Me. The cow to feed themselves. And the machine gun to defend themselves from bastards like you. Drop the guns. 
Now, come on. You too. Come on here. Oh, okay, that's much better. I want you to take a message to your boss. Tell him that if he bothers these people again, he's gonna have me, Jet Trigado, to deal with from here on. You got it? Pretty good shooting, Sonny. But next time, make sure you get all of them, without pity. And you, Somilo. And everybody here, listen. If something like this happens again, and I'm not here, remember I gave you that. And use it. this way. He won't stay in Mexico, I just know it. I goddamn know it. And I'll be waiting, Jan. I'll be in this border town just waiting. I've seen a hell of a lot of rain in my life. But I don't think I ever got this wet before. Aren't you getting undressed? Gonna catch pneumonia. I know what's bothering you. <laughs> I know everything. Don't be stupid. <sighs> Let's face it. If you wouldn't have killed him, he would have killed you. Men like that are just worms. I know how you feel, but I was luckier than you. I killed 12 men the first time. 12. And you can't feel for 12 or you feel for one. It is like love. You remember the first one, but from the second one on, you don't feel anything, because they are pretty much the same. Anyway, it happened when I was thrown into the... to the territorial prison. And um, more because I was a half-breed than anything else. They beat the hell out of me. So one day I got tired of it, 
and I set fire to the damn place. I was lucky because close by was a dynamite shack. The whole place blew up. And 12 guards got cooked like well done steaks. It was such a mess that the chief guard got ticked out and he couldn't make a career as he wanted. Mm. And um, the chief guard was Francisco's. So since then, my life has been a nightmare when I'm awake. That's what I want to go to sleep and forget about it. Ugh.
All right. Start digging. All of it? All of it. Stick a fork in it. Hear that, Jed? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. alcohol and some bandages. Quiet. Keep quiet. Quick. Show your fuck. Don't make such a fucking fuss about it. It's just a little blood. I can guess. Franciscus, huh? No. You got a little cutie over there playing fireworks. And who's she? Just some moron I picked up. She wants to be an outlaw. Well, why do you go around with her if she's such a moron? Yeah, good question. Damn if I know. I don't want this fucking thing. I want some clothes, something. What does this look like, the Salvation Army? Everybody has something that he has to pay. Everybody. And you're no different, darling. So shall we'll we talk discuss about it later. cost? We'll talk about it later, Laureen, okay? I have an idea. I'll take her. She's not much, but some <laughs> geezers <laughs> like them scrawny. <laughs> <laughs> you have to show her the ropes. She has never been poked. Ah, you mean she's a virgin? Oh, I know somebody with a bundle who's willing to give 200 bucks for a virgin. Ah, we'll both make money on this, Jed. Take off your clothes. Let's see what we got here. Get your hands off me. I'm a veteran. I want to see what a virgin looks like for myself. You think it's funny, huh? I'll teach you. Get out! Get out! Get out! That's for you too. Get out and stay out! Get out! Out, you goddamn horse! <laughs> It's me. 
because I, I love you. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, what did you say? Uh, I said, I love you. And if you, if you want me to stay here, <laughs> then I'll do it. I'll stay here. If that's what you want me to do. <laughs> Nobody ever said that to me before. By the power of Almighty God and the Mexican government, I declare you man and wife from now till death when you are parted. Let no man put us under what God has joined. Join hands, please. Now, if you would like a sermon, there will be a $5 charge. If not, the cost of the basic ceremony is only $3. No sermon. Is this thing finished? Unless you wish something more. Your wallet. Wallet? Yeah, your wallet. Didn't you hear her? Yeah, and your fur coat. Move. Oh, Jeff. Yeah, that's my wedding present. Get moving. Go to the piano play. Play! And if somebody asks you who robbed you, you said Jed and Sonny Trigado. Mr. <laughs> Messi. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Come on. Let's go! Let's go! My yes, ma'am. My lady would like to try on this pair of boots. Uh, those boots are four dollars and eighty-five cents, ma'am. What's the matter? Don't you think we have the money? No, no, of course, of course, ma'am. Please be That's seated, ma'am. Take a seat. Thanks. They're a very nice pair of boots, I do assure you. You know they're lovely, sir. Really, uh, you must look, sir. I have a maid for the mayor's wife who later canceled her order oh, because really? of an attack of gap. Oh. They're lovely. Yeah. Here, here. Uh, how much does this cost, sir? Uh, Fifteen dollars. <laughs> uh -huh. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, sir, and this? Well, that's expensive, sir. That costs twenty-eight dollars fifty. This is expensive, Sonny. It costs oh, twenty-eight dollars fifty. Yeah. Like it? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Oh, oh, excuse me. How's that one feel, well, ma'am? Well, it pinches a little down here. With you, that'll work out, of course. Oops. You have a very generous husband, ma'am. I sure do, don't I? It's a very nice pair of boots. Not bad. Would you like to try a walk in? That, that, yep, yeah. I think I will. Uh, well, say, do you know what we need? What else we need? Uh, a gunbell for my wife. Oh. Gunbell for your wife, sir? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going yeah. to America, you know. Yeah. We better be prepared. Oh, I quite agree. No, no. And, uh... Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Try that one off the size, ma'am. A gun for the gondola for my wife. Hey, Jack. It's closed. Yes. Come in. It is closed. <laughs> Why are we closed? Well, because when the Trigado family goes shopping, we don't want to be disturbed. Oh. Is there something else I could get you, sir? Yep. Your money. This is a hold up. Oh, Place your bets. Place your bets. No more bets. Number 13, black. Number, number 19. Number 19. Put your money down, please. Put your money down. Place your bets. Place your bets. No more bets. No more bets. Ah, I won. 
She's kidding. She fell on her head as a kid. She's not very normal and can be very dangerous. Isn't she funny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you idiot, what's wrong with you? You should have done that. Why? Because in life you have to do things by the rules, that's why. Uh, I'm terribly sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Hold up! Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. See how it's done. You got to do things by the rules. I'm just Rigado. Hands up. Did you do this? See? Why isn't my picture here? Uh, because I didn't have one. Uh -huh. Sonny! Come in. Take a picture of the lady. Uh, si, senor. Uh, si. Why just me? Because they can kill you one of these days and I want to have a souvenir. Come on. And make sure it is a good one. If you'll stand up here... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, one moment. Now, uh... Not like that. Don't no move. What the hell kind of a waste that to hold a gun? Here. Stand up straight. Uh, por favor. A smile, perhaps. A small one. Smile, for Christ's sakes. One. Jed, what happens if you die first? Dead. Stop. Dead. No smile, senor? We are smiling. Come down from there. I'm the star. All right, senor. Hold it. Don't move. One, two, three. <laughs> I can't see how raising the ante on these two will do any good. You know, I'm afraid you're right. I've already raised it three times before, and what good has it done? We've got two murders and a string of damn robberies that this territory has never seen. I'm afraid, gentlemen, that the last three months has made every one of us look like a bunch of damn fools. And we all come up for re-election this year. We've got to get those two. That's all there is to it. Well, it looks like it's up to you now, Merrill, now that Franciscus is out of the way. Hey, Merrill, where you going? Franciscus. I'm still in the way, Greenhorn. And my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is to see these two hang from the end of a rope. Is that right, Merrill? Let's save the taxpayers' money. Hmm. If you want these two criminals, just sign this petition. He grants full amnesty for all past crimes to anyone who brings them in dead or alive. This paper is going to bring out every scum. I'm not interested in what you've got to say, Junior. I, I don't think that we have the authority to offer an amnesty. Forget about the authority, Your Honor. Forget it. Just sign the petition and they'll be ours. Better get ready. He's coming. Nah, that can't be him. Of course it's him. Why is he dressed like that? Because he's a wise guy. He's wearing a disguise. That's 
of you to drop in. Don't move. What's the gag, Franciscus? Trying to change your image? Shut up, you. I'll do the talking. What's the gag, Franciscus? Trying to change your image? Mm. I thought you were out of the show. But since you are not, I'm going to put you out of it. <coughs> because I'm going to kill you. Just like I killed those guards. But if I have killed somebody, it is because I want to defend myself from bastards like you and your shitty world. <laughs> what the hell are you laughing at? Look at him when he's talking to you! Did you hear what Mrs. Strigado said? Hey! Eh? Look at me when I'm talking to you! <coughs> I... uh, Sunday! Hey, go! What the hell are you talking about, you nit? I would never kill someone who can't fight. A man like Jet Rigado would never do a thing like that. To kill a blind man. Are you kidding? Look at him. It's pathetic. <laughs> it is so damn frustrating, it just makes you want to cry. <laughs> Give him half a buck. Yeah, I hope after this you don't go around saying I'm a son of a bitch anymore. Come on. Yeah. Come on. You have to start from the bottom. That's the best way to read the clouds. Okay, show me. Hey, just a moment. It isn't that easy. You have to know what you're talking about. It takes time. Come on, what do you see? Oh, I see a grasshopper and um, something else on top of it. I think it's another grasshopper, maybe. What's that mean? It means you're talking a lot of bullshit. Have you ever seen a grasshopper that big, you jerk? Those are men with swords, big dudes. Well, I see two grasshoppers. Shut up! Do I always have to repeat myself? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Don't talk to me that way. We're supposed to be married and we do things together oh, now. Oh, bullshit, we're married. You might be married, but I am not. You don't count for nothing, so get that in your goddamn head. The biggest mistake I ever made was taking her to a priest. I don't have my head examined. Don't talk to me that way. Fuck her.
there was only one grasshopper. like Jed Trigato, all right. Okay, lovebirds, wake up. Real slow, with your hands up. <laughs> Bounty killers, I suppose. <laughs> Bounty killers? No, not us. You know, for you too, they're laying out $2,000. And complete amnesty for us too. $2,000 only? Yeah. Are you kidding? That doesn't compare with what she's worth. She's fantastic. Wait. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> Darling. Surprise. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm, some man, eh? Look at him. Beautiful blue eyes. Mm, he sure does have. Yeah. And the other one looks like some Peter. Yeah. Oh. Which of the two do you prefer, baby? Me? Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, I dig them both. Oh, yeah? Both? Yeah. Uh-huh. I agree, huh? <laughs> 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 yeah. Follow me! That's why Sonny and Jet Brigado work! <laughs> Don't bother to knock. Uh, Sarah, as you know, I have always had the greatest respect for justice, and that's why I've brought you Jim Harvey and Harry Lawton. They don't look like it, but they are both two of the worst son of bitches in the Southwest Territory, and they should really be in prison. Where do I collect my reward, sir? You stupid bastard. <laughs> Jed, you're not gonna get away with this. You know why? Yeah, why? Because you're gonna set one foot out of that door. And I'm going to have every man in this town after your ass. Oh, yeah? Well, we can't have that, can we? Hold this, sir, please. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> light it. Well, come on, light it. <laughs> Go ahead. Get out! Get out! Try to get me if you can, huh? Let's go! How much? How much money? How much do we have now? We have two fucking dollars. Two dollars? Yeah, this is expensive. You are expensive. We are expensive. <laughs> we are the best. <laughs> it is the best. It's so Come in. We are the best. Yeah. Pardon me, sir. Yeah. Hey, come in! Hey, come in! What the hell's the matter with you? As you wish, sir. Did you bring the thing? Come here. Yes, sir. Oh. I brought go. That's I brought right. everything. Has she ever seen two people taking a bath? I wouldn't know, sir. I brought all the things you ordered, sir. Oh, yeah. oh it's nice. a. I'll get What's you a. It's huh? eggs. It's tomatoes. It's fruit. Mm. It's a. It's a lot of things there. Uh, 
and sausage. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Special tea That's please. all right, goddammit. <laughs> Say hello to uh, Mr... What, what's your name? My name is Felipe. Yeah, this is Mrs. Trigado. Hi, mm. Felipe. Madame, hey, what the fuck are you licking? You fucking oh, maniac. Oh, please, excuse me, sir. So sorry, sir. <laughs> now, sir, as I was telling you, it's some chicken here, it's fruit, it's chocolate. Okay, I'm uh, getting now. Uh, what is this, real silver? Oh, yes, sir, pure silver. Expensive. Well, I don't know, sir. Do you have a towel? Salami. Do you have, do you have a towel? I need to get out of the tub. A towel. One oh, towel. Yes, madame. Viva la vida! I'll tell you straight, this has to be the life, don't it? Big hotel rooms, golden bed, waiter and tails, champagne, most of all chocolate. I always dreamed of eating chocolate in bed. What are you looking at? Hey. Hey. Hey! Oh, sorry, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on down there? It's a private party, sir. It's a first anniversary party of the wedding of Don Garcia Moreno with Doña, Doña Linda, sir. Are there rich people? Oh, yes, richissimo, senor. <laughs> important people? Very, very important. They have lots of money, senor. And uh, what do you have to do to go there? It's open to everybody, sir. But it is <laughs> necessary to wear a formal suit. And what's a formal? A formal? It's a suit like this. Oh, yeah? Then. The salami, sir, it's wonderful. It's delicious, really. It's the specialty of the house. <laughs> you rest. What the hell do you do that for? Shut up. It's none of your damn business. What the hell's the matter with you? And what's so important about those people down there? It is not people. It is a lady. A big, fat lady with big, beautiful tits. <laughs> Someday I'll explain to you what they are. A lady with tits full of milk like a cow, not a fucking chicken like you. How can you say that? Sometimes I just don't understand you. I really don't. No? Uh, well, that's too bad. Who asked you to understand, anyway? I only marry you because I felt sorry for you. So get off my back. <laughs> One hundred anniversaries, my love. Only a hundred? I expect twice that. I'm devastated that you only want ninety-nine more. <laughs> oh, Garcia. May I compliment you on your charming wife? <laughs> Indeed you may. I'm a man who counts himself among the more fortunate. She's a most beautiful woman. That's true, but it wasn't her beauty that drew me to her. It was her spirituality. Oh. How lovely tonight, Doña Lina. My compliments. How radiant you oh, are, Doña Lina. Thank you. And what a lovely time. Oh, not at the moment. Oh, gracias. May I have this dance? But you promised me the first. Oh, dear. I mean, what a quandary I'm in. I can't dance with everyone. How lovely you are, my dear. My good man, would you fix me something very cool? Oh, dear. I'm not your waiter. Uh -oh. Oh, I'm not I'm a guest. I just assumed you were. I hope you'll let me apologize. Then dance with me. Do you always kidnap your women? Your mother, just a woman to me. You're like a shower of milk from heaven. <laughs> I begin to suspect you have a vivid imagination. You fucking A, I have a vivid everything. And I'm a little mad too. Oh, you know. May I have the name of this fascinating madman? I'll tell you when you come away with me. We live right after the party. And where will we go, pray tell? You want to go to a pray tell? We'll go there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You poets are also terribly impractical. No suggestion of a house to live in, or even a bed. I don't like to make love in a bed. Oh. I like to make love in the rocks. You're even more impractical than I thought. Yeah. That's what I want, milk on the rocks. Oh, divine. <laughs> That 
it's man dancing with my wife. Uh, does he seem familiar to you? If I have met him, it certainly wasn't at my table. <laughs> In my day, a man like that wouldn't have gotten into this hotel. That's common today, my dear. May I help you, sir? Americans registered. Do what she says. Do what she says. Come on. You bastard. You too, Jed Dragato, you son of a bitch. Fooling around with that broad. You think I care? Well, I don't. You mean me? You too. Your money, everything. What Come do you on. Mean? Me? Move. Come on. You heard me? Put it all down. Come on, move. Now, everyone, keep your hands up or you get it between the eyes. Including you, Jed Dragato. Here she is, Jen. What are you waiting for? Pick him up! You can do what you want with her, Francisco. I take this one. Please, my wife's liable to be killed. Let the woman go. You said you were so anxious to spirit me away. Shut up, will you? <laughs> hey! You! Listen to me! If you want Jet I know where he is! He's gone to Bandera! You'll find him there! Go on, you bastard! The rest of you follow her. Hey, I just saw a snake over there. Stick 
get up your ass. Tomilo! Tomilo! All right, all right, come inside. What do you want, an invitation? You know how to read? Well, of course I do. Then read. Dearest brother, we have left our poor village and the homes of our birth because we can no longer suffer to live in fear for our women and children. We have heard that Don Garcia's men... Oh, oh my husband, oh, how divine. <laughs> ...wish to take from us our humble land. Forgive us, but we cannot kill even to defend ourselves. Goodbye, my brother. Tomillo. Hmm. What a vulgar little man he must be. <laughs> you mustn't be upset about it. <laughs> if I had stayed, this wouldn't have happened. Forget all that now. <laughs> Forget everything. <laughs> all right? How would you like me to take on my hair? <laughs> Look. <laughs> I'm a shitty no, man. You're a lovely man. That's <laughs> what you are. Now close your eyes and relax. I've got a little surprise for you. I'm, I'm a shitty I'm man. That's what I am. Surprise now. <laughs> look, look. Open your eyes. <laughs> I'm dancing for you. <laughs> look, I don't have look. any friends. <laughs> I don't deserve any either. You're not alone now. You have a friend. I'm a second rate man. Everyone here. Oh. Get out! <laughs> yes! Hey! Come back! Yes! 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 Listen to me! They're coming! I told them! I told them where you were! Please get out of it! Please! <laughs> So you told them. I see. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Yeah. Get out of my sight. I don't want to see you again. This time I mean it. Just get out of my sight. Before I kill you. Get out! crying anyway. Your husband's coming to get you. Your wonderful husband who steals from the poor to keep you. Uh, well, when he comes, we'll have a little surprise for him anyway. 
Long enough. It's time you start earning your keeper on here. Yeah. You get out of my sight. For I change my mind and fill you full of holes. Entregado. You're surrounded. There's no way for you to escape. Let my wife go. It's the only hope you have. Let her go now and things will go easier for you. Do you hear me? Come back! Hey, Garcia! Tell your guests not to go away! Here's ready for all of you! Ah, come on, come on! Let's have some fun! <laughs> yeah! Come on! <laughs> okay, Moreno, you got her back! She's a little used now! But I think she was used when you married her! Am I right? <laughs> yeah! What the hell's the matter with this goddamn thing, anyway? Yeah. You don't use this thing, son, but it's got rusty sitting around. Better than that. Ah! Ah! Wait for me, God I'm damn not it. waiting for nobody. 
I'm coming with you. Oh, yeah? Well, you can just stay three steps behind me like a dog. I want to show you who's going to walk like a dog. Stop it. You're my wife. God no! Damn it. Not anymore, I'm not! Sonny, don't leave me. Wait! Wait! I need you. This leg is killing me. You're still... I... You're still my wife. Remember that. You stop remembering it. You can't walk out on me. We are married. We are husband and wife. Sonny, I need you. Wait for me. Wait for me. I love you, you motherfucker. 